Hi guys, welcome along to today's video. Uh, we're back in the van. It's not my van this time, I'm not driving. And we are on a miserable grey Sunday morning. However, it's not a miserable grey Sunday morning because we are off to pick up one of my good friend's first big motorcycles. And not only is it uh, his first big motorcycle is also one of the best period motorcycles you can buy. He has got himself a K2 750 GSX-R with a Rizla Dream Machine paint job. So here we are guys, we've just arrived. Top Your destination is on the left. I'm going to pop the camera away for a little bit, have a chat with the guy, make sure he's happy for us to film, and then hopefully we'll show you the bike. So here we are guys, we've got the bike in the back of the van strapped in. The fella didn't want us uh, snooping around, or not snooping around, but videoing around his house, which is fair enough. So she's strapped in, look at that. We're gonna get home, get around, and we'll show you around it properly. So here we are then guys, we're back in the workshop. Uh, my friend's actually gonna keep the bike in the workshop for a little while, just whilst he sorts out a bit of space, and it does need a few little bits and pieces doing on it anyway. Uh, now the guy didn't want us filming around his house when we picked the bike up, which is absolutely fair enough. So we're going to give you a quick little walk and talk around it now, tell you a bit about it, start it up hopefully. So first things first, absolutely beautiful Rizla Dream Machine paint job on it. I really wanted one of these as a child. I remember standing at the side of the track watching John Reynolds win his BSB title on a Rizla bike. And it's still, all these years later, it looks absolutely Amazing. So it is a 2002 GSX-R K2 750, just over 20,000 miles on the clock, and it's not immaculate by any means, but it's also not an absolute dog. So it's one of those bikes that um, is going to still turn heads wherever you go on it, but you're also not going to be afraid to put a few miles on it and actually ride it for what it's meant for. So first things first, it does need a pair of tyres on the bike. And I would always advise any new bike like this going through it thoroughly, giving it a good service, spark plugs, oil, oil and filter, air filters, brake pads, etc. Because you're never quite sure what kind of uh, condition it's in. Even if you've got good history like you have with this bike, uh, we've got a Harris double bubble screen on this, which is nice. Obviously the paint job itself. And these little LED indicators, which we're not quite sure about yet, but that's not down to, to me, it's not my bike these absolutely beautiful anodized braking clutch levers. For those of you that don't know, that was sarcasm. These are offending my eyes so much, I've actually had to stop looking at them as it's making my eyes bleed. So they're gonna go back for factory standard items. The same as these GSXR grips, some nice standard black rental grips on there. But all the important bits like the headstock, um, the adjustment, preload adjustment around the fork legs, none of this is damaged or mullered or anything like that. The clocks aren't cracked. So all the important expensive little bits and pieces are all in very nice condition. All the switch gear works. All the beautiful brushed aluminium frame, no dings, no dents, no damage to that. These carbon intake pipes, all the nice expensive bits, brake discs, radiators, etc all in really lovely condition. We have got on there a ART Pro Series 2 NCAN. I believe it's just an NCAN, not a full system. Standard rear sets, even got the standard hoses front and rear. The only main part of the bike that lets it down, in my opinion, is there's a few scratches and blemishes on this tail unit here where it's not been looked after around the garage and a pillion seat's been put on and somebody has fitted an aftermarket style tail tidy rear lights, which actually looks okay, but it's just not been done with great attention to detail and a lot of care. So that is something that my friend's gonna look at potentially either sorting out so it's a nicer job in there or swapping back to a factory setup with a factory rear light. Um, it does need a chain. It's got a super sprox talon sprocket on there but the chain is looking a little bit worse for wear. So I'm going to check some gearing out for this. Hopefully we'll put a 520 Renfro gold chain on there. Um, not something I've done a how-to video on yet, so we will try and cover that whilst we fit the chain on there. 
all engine numbers, frame numbers, everything else like that matches. Obviously important to check that when you're buying something like this. Old bike, lots of owners. Um, unless it's a concourse bike that's been in a museum, you're always gonna find little bits and pieces. This fairing in this side has got a little bit of damage on it here that's been repaired over the years, but from a distance, it still looks in really, really good condition. And yeah, that is the bike in a nutshell, really. Like I say, it's a 22 year old bike now. The wheels still look in very, very nice condition. The bike as a whole, when you stand back and look at it, looks absolutely amazing. Really stands out, especially compared to these modern sports bikes. And uh, shall we start it up? Shall we have a listen to it? Come on in. Got to pull the clutch in on these old Suzuki's, so two hands required for this. EFI, no carburetors to mess around with. Perfect. Clutch in. <laughs> So as you can hear there guys, runs absolutely sweet as a nut, starts on the button, idles lovely, no misfire. Um, really looking forward to hopefully getting out for a ride on this and taking you guys along for a nice little ride somewhere. 750, back in its day, was renowned for the uh, performance from the engine, about 140 horsepower, but when we do the full feature on it, we'll go for a few more specs and a few more details. But yeah, a really, really fantastic all round bike. So I hope you've enjoyed coming along for the ride to go and pick this up. Unfortunately, like I say, it's not my bike, but it is a very good friend of mine's and it's his first big motorcycle. So imagine having that as your first big bike. As ever guys, thanks for watching. Look after yourselves and we'll see you on the road soon. Ta-ta.